Atlas. Da, da, da. Greek Titan. Holding up the world upon his shoulders. Oh wait, sorry, this is a fly tying vice, not the Greek god Titan. Which, oh, if I remember correctly, I think he was cursed to hold up the world on his shoulders by Zeus. But I'd have to reread my mythology. But anyways, this is um a re go over. A long-term use of my Atlas fly tying vise made in Wolfie, Indiana. I did a video on it. There was a combination between sunglasses, this vise, and other things I can't remember exactly, but that's besides the point, I reckon. Anyways, this thing's got right here. This controls... Let's see. Reeves Jaws. Yeah. You can shut it. What not. Of course you can shut it. <laughs> it has uh, little grooves in it. Let's see if I can't. Focus it in here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you see the little grooves in there? That's where the hooks slide in. Sometimes I just tip it at the very end and get it tight enough so it doesn't slide. But those hook grooves help a lot if it's the correct size hook and it fits in there good. I like the grooves. It prevents it from moving really well. This little spring here... It's just basically, um, pretend that feather is tied to a jig. And this is basically all you do with that. It just <clears throat> holds your material out of the way so you can continue tying on something. Let me, uh, yeah. So you can continue tying so you'd have something here. Right here, this hook on here. Then uh, I'd have like a ribbing material and it'd be connected here. Sometimes you got more than one. And then I can wrap up what I want to wrap up on here. Then do the ribbing, which I'll show you an example of ribbing. That yellow stripe, that's ribbing. And this here is an imitation um basically a hair jig for ned ned rig style hair jig which is meant to be drug slowly on the bottom kind of a finesse bait but anyways back to this um got this i don't want to mess with it but it loosens and tightens up The rotary action works really good on it still, and I've had this vise for um, about four years. I don't know for sure. This here will control how tight this is. Also, this can control how tight this is too. I just use this, really. And I would say it's all stainless steel construction besides the plastic on the knobs, which it is whatever. For $150, it's uh, really kind of hard to beat even with the plastic knobs. And at least they're black so they don't look so out of place. Drill bit, a three ounce sinker with a whole bunch of drips of Gorilla Glue on it because I've been using it for head cement because some idiot left the super glue lid open and it dried out and I've been, haven't had the chance to go to the store. And the same idiot left the lid open on this so it dried out too.
got too much to use. <laughs> has this <clears throat> nice fancy base that came with it and oh not that exactly but it came with another C clamp like that. It actually came with that C clamp there. Now this unscrews right here. I don't really want to do it because then I'll have to tighten it all back up again. And this will screw unloose so this thing can go whichever way I want to turn it. But the only problem I've really had with this is... If you see down in there, I've got some fishing line and some twisted copper wire that's so that the it actually stays in place i was having problems with it and moving around and not locking up tightly so i just put a piece of copper wire in there and that solved that problem but overall i would say I would definitely recommend this vise if you're tying flies. It's a really good vise. I like it a lot. And for $150 with the items it came with. Now, now if you buy it, it's $160 for the vise. And you get either the... Actually, I think it just comes with the C-clamp now. You have to buy this separate. When I bought it, it all came together, so... And then right after I bought it, like a couple months later, they changed it to where it's all sold separately. Besides the C-clamp. I may have read on there that I think you may have a choice to get either the cast iron plate pedestal or the C-clamp. But you'd have to look it up for yourself. But I, I would give this vice a 4.8 stars. Just because of what I had to do there. But like I said, no big deal. Just shove something in there, a little spacer, and it made it work fine. And so after about five plus years of use... It's holding up pretty good. Nothing's really, nothing's wrong with it. And that is my long term review after owning the vice for a few, five, I said five, four or five years. I can't remember exactly when I bought it, but definitely a good investment. You almost take care now. Live long and prosper.